For most of his life, Jackie Chan has been risking death for a living. As an actor and director, Jackie has redefined the nature of world action cinema. What sets Jackie apart from his rivals is his willingness to perform his own spectacular stunts. In this film, Jackie returns to the days of the period Kung Fu movies and shows how he pioneered his own brand of very special effects. We reveal the specialized training that he and his stunt team undergo to prepare themselves for the screen. Jackie returns to the locations of one of his greatest achievements, Police Story, and shows how he set a new standard in screen action. For the first time, we open the doors to the secret Jackie Chan stunt lab to examine the various tricks of this dangerous trade, and Jackie himself conducts a master class in film fight choreography. We follow Jackie onto the sets of his hit films, Who Am I? and Rush Hour, and discover how he and his team devise some of their most daring stunt sequences. If action, if danger, if courage have a name, then that name is Jackie Chan. This is Jackie Chan, My Stunts. Jackie began his career as just another stuntman working on the Hong Kong movie treadmill. At that time, the industry was devoted entirely to producing period martial arts movies. These were divided into kung fu and swordplay movies. In kung fu films, the characters engaged in unarmed combat. In swordplay movies, they often had supernatural powers and fought using a variety of bladed weapons. Here, Jackie and his stuntmen demonstrate a traditional martial arts fight sequence. First, Jackie comes up with a concept for the fight, then carefully stages each action and reaction. Though the combatants have to be skilled kung fu exponents, it's equally important that they possess the correct sense of timing so that they can synchronize their movements with one another. Pretty, right? From no knife until I get first knife, second knife, and third knife. At the end, I kick the guy out, back, boom. The most important is the pose. I design like a more art fighting, like a dancing. That's much nicer. Even I kick somebody, there's no violence. The knife, I never cut somebody. If I create this scene, maybe I just up there, boom. I go away means I don't want to fight anymore. I'm ready to win. I don't have to, I don't have to kill you. I already get your knife, but I throw away, give you, give you back. If you fight me again, I, I will steal your knife again. In this scene from the young master, Jackie and opponent Yun Biu show off the virtuoso physical skills they learned at a Chinese opera school. In Chinese opera, the performers execute onstage fight sequences in which they wield their weapons more like circus performers than martial artists. It is this sense of the theatrical that Jackie brought to the traditional kung fu movie genre. See? And I, I, I would use anything like a very pretty, see, after fight, when I sit down, sit down. After kick, he go around. Because the, the, the timing is so quick, you don't mag, you cannot you didn't know did I hit his toes or not. One more slow motion. Come, look. That's when slow motion, I just hit here. Then he just do the reaction. The audience knows. Then I turn around. Give him a kick. Then maybe after kick, I sit down the very nice position and I let the audience wow. And the funny thing is in the modern day, of course, you use this kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, you know, this kind of face. You, I want to kill somebody. But in the old day, you can tell when we're fighting, uh, the, the camera moved back a little bit. You, you can see the toes. Every, every position, look, the toes. You must have the nice toes. And after fighting, bah, 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 no matter how you fight, bah, bah, boom, and e even boom, those kind of position 
It's a very important. It's a more difficult than the, the modern day fight. Ah, 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 this kind of thing. When Jackie made his American debut in Battle Creek Brawl, he broke new ground by transposing the kind of action seen in the period kung fu films to a movie set in 1930s Chicago. At that time, Americans had no experience of this kind of on-screen combat. Jackie had to fly in two of his stuntmen to stage a scene in which his character is challenged by rival martial arts masters. Though limited by the fact that he could not control the camera speed as he does on a Hong Kong movie set, Jackie still kept some of his trademark style. That's a chair. Of course, when we're doing some action, we have to I make the special chair. 